just me, or is Wedge starting to enjoy this? Hey, I'm picking up Cybertron tech, and it's... Uh-oh, not good. Where is it? I can't see a piece of satellite. No? Try looking in the arena. Uh-oh. Okay, the good news is the crowd hasn't seen it yet. The bad news is we're gonna need Wedge's bucket to dig it out. I'm on it. Hey, Wedge, listen up. We found what we're looking for, and it's in the arena. Maybe he just didn't hear you, but we need to get his attention quickly. And I've got an idea. Come on, Wedge! Look this way! Now, Wedge, how about you take part in the next event? The Every Digger for Himself Freestyle Showdown! Has he, uh, <coughs> seen the <laughs> flags? I'm not sure. Oh, wait, you mean me? Doing freestyle in front of the whole crowd. <laughs> He'll never do it. Bring it on. What? 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 Way to go, Wedge! The rules are simple. Each driver has to perform tricks until asked to leave. Last vehicle in the arena wins! Man, these guys look good. In three, two, what? Freestyle! Now what do we do? They're gonna see that Cybertron tech for sure. Holy dump trucks, did you folks see that? Wedge just did a barrel roll right over his competitors. Oh, no! Number two is trying it and... Boom! He's bitten the dust. Look at Wedge go! Who does he think he is? Hot shot? Should I be offended by that? Number one is on two wheels! I don't know how anyone can beat... Oh, no! I spoke too soon! So that's good night, competitor number one. This is too close! Mission failure absolutely imminent! And there are just two vehicles left! And right now it's neck and neck! Or is it? Because it looks like Wedge is going for the big one! He is! It's a triple backwards bucket flip somersault! And... Oh my... Oh! oh. Do you know all the other fun things I could be doing now? Playing Cube, helping Hoist test new tech, not watching you? Hmm. Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha ha! Chuck, that's great! Ah ha ha ha! Ah What's so funny? Chuck, he's hilarious! I'm having a total blast with him. But he's just sitting there. I know, right? He even sits funny. You should really spend some time with him. Like, now, even. I mean, I guess I could let you watch him for a while. I don't know. I, I was doing some rescue research, and... You can do that anytime. All you have to do is make sure he doesn't... <gasps> Chuck! Where'd he go? Oh, you let him get away! Me? He was your job! Oh, poor Chuck. What if something happens to him? <gasps> like he falls into a trash compactor. Only it has sharks inside it with lava breath and laser eyes. I don't think that could happen. Not on my watch. Let's go. He has to be in one of these rooms. Start looking. here. Come on. Where could he be? There's no way he can get out of the training center, is there? I don't think so, but... <gasps> Upstairs! 
Hey, hot shot. Lose something? Chuck! I'm so glad you found him before the sharks did. Yeah, in fact, you're having such a great time hanging out together. I'll just leave you to it. Uh, no thanks. I'm kind of busy and... Chuck! Helmets are always a good idea! Oh no, heat waves coming back. He's not gonna be happy. Chuck, come back, Chuck. Up here, buddy. Tell me when it's over. I'm here with those parts you wanted, Boulder. Meet you in the lab. Hmm. <sighs> Quick, we have to get him. Tough luck, Chuck. More like tough luck for us. We'll only keep him here for a little while. Our teachers won't even have to know. Normally, I would point out the foolishness of such misguided logic. However, this canine is incredibly cute. Aww, he must want to go back to the snow to play. I've got a better idea. Go get it, Speedy! Speedy? No, we can't call him that. Why not? He is Speedy. Psst, guys. I think we can come up with a better name. Guys. <clears throat> Blades. <clears throat> Blades. You feeling okay, Hoist? <clears throat> Blades. That cough does sound odd. Let me have a look. Well, I didn't know there was a cube game scheduled today. Oh. <laughs> Blades. Got it. Ha ha ha. Practice makes perfect, right? Oh, so just a small game. We thought we'd uh, train with a tiny cube to uh, improve our hand-eye coordination. Better keep practicing. <laughs> Look, he wants to go outside. Wow, you got the digging thing down. Good boy, Scoop. Wait, Scoop? What's wrong with Scoop? Indeed, he does excel at earth excavation. No way, Scoop isn't even a name. Actually, I know a couple of Scoops. Ah, Professor Boulder, who's right here. Hi. What are all these holes for? Uh, we thought it was time to plant some trees, sir. Good thinking, recruits. The courtyard could use more plant life. I'll put in a request. Has anyone considered the name Close Call? <laughs> Woohoo! Having four legs really pays off, huh, Bouncy? Yeah, no, we're not calling him Bouncy. I concur with Hotshot. We can come up with a better name. I think Schnoodles agrees. Ugh, Schnoodles? No, no way! Aw, I thought it was cute. I've got it. I've thought of the perfect name. We shall call him Dog. Why anything else? He is a dog, so there would be no confusion. It makes perfect sense. Ah, I believe he's trying to communicate with me. Yeah, to tell you dog is a horrible name. Woof! 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 That was the best circuit time yet, guys! Woof! 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 Good to see you getting some extra training in during your downtime, recruits. That's dedication. Um, what was that? Hoist has been making odd noises all day, sir. Perhaps he is due for a checkup. Woof! It's time for our cheer practice! We need to work together and inspire each other. If we learn routines like Professor Blades showed us, that'll make us a real team. Hotshot, what kind of cheers did you do in cube? You know, like, ha, or yeah! Ha, yeah, uh-huh! I like it. <laughs> but I had something else in mind. Something like this. One, two, one, two, three, Rescue Bots Academy! Four, five, four, five, six, Hot Shot Roll Hoist Wedge Medics! Your turn. One, two, one, two, three, Rescue Bots Academy! Four, five, four, five, six, Hoist, Toys, Toys, Hoist, Toys, Hoist! Okay, not 
bad. Uh, maybe just a little more excitement. Like it's the most fun thing in the world, which it is. One more time. One, two, one, two. Hold on. I, we're really spending our time on this? I mean, it's silly. I know what we need to prove this is serious. Hmm. 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 Pom-poms. In the videos Blades showed me, humans use these while they cheer to make it super fun and get everybody more excited. How do you turn them on? You don't. You just shake them. Like this. Hey, these are kind of cool. And still silly. How do we go on rescue missions holding these? We can do the cheers before the rescue. And speaking of cheers, I think we're ready to try a routine. Follow me. It's easy. One step right and back and left, and two steps left, then up, then back. Now the other way. One step left and back and left, and two steps left. Hey, watch it. What do you think you're doing? What World told us to do. Well, do it somewhere else. Shh. I'm trying to concentrate. One step right or left. One Get and two and out, out of my, my way. Some of us hey, are cheering here. Recruits! Okay. Well, let's try something a little easier. I hope. We can make a human pyramid. Now that's teamwork. Only thing is, there's five of us, so we got to do it a little different than the picture. But I'm sure we can make it work. Okay. Now, hoist, same position, on their backs. What? You didn't tell us that part. And now for the grand finale. Here I come! <gasps> Ta-da! Uh, ah! Good first try. Oof. Sorry, Hotshot, but I really don't see how this is more fun than Chase's game. At least it can't get any worse. Why did you have to say that? First, ew. Second, how? Ugh, hedgehog goo. It's not coming off. Only one thing to do. Uh-uh, do not. This is not the proper protocol for emergency removal of a bot. <laughs> this way. Now what? I vote we get me out of this goo. Oh, I have an idea, but you're probably not going to like it. Uh oh, wow! Are we at least getting gold coins for this? I am so loving this game. Seriously? We just outran giant hedgehogs. We are living the dream. It sounds like we have different dreams. Woohoo! Um, Hotshot, how does your game manual say we stop the hedgehogs? Wait, it came with a manual? Preparation fail, Hotshot. I'm feeling very unprepared and uncertain right now. Okay, since it's kind of my fault yep. that we're in this mess, yep. and since I'm an expert computer game player. Who doesn't read manuals? I'll deal with the hedgehogs. Prepare to be amazed. Unlikely. <gasps> that looked painful. Ow. Ugh. I'm good. Uh, ready to try that again? Do you think that was part of his plan? That would assume he has a plan. Ow! Don't worry! Ow! I think I'm wearing them out! Ow! Hang in there, Hotshot! You're doing great! He's not doing great, is he? We need to think through a solution. I could always stop the sim from the underfloor control panel, but we'll need to distract the hedgehogs while I work. I think Hotshot's got that under control. He can't keep it up forever. We need to help him. How? We aren't prepared for any of this! Wait! Maybe we are. We just need to use what Professor Chase taught us. Follow me! Emergency pull-off lane complete. Time to write this speeder a ticket. <laughs> ha! And that is 
why you should always pre-check your wiper blades before any long trip. Looks like you got a flat there, buddy. Better stay off the road for a while. Now I just gotta turn off the sim. Look out, hoist! We're yeah. back! Time for tips on when to transform and how to do it safely by Professor Teacher Whirl. That's me. I'm not really a professor, but I sound good, right? Tip number one. Make sure there's enough room to change. Yes, recruit microwave. I'm in character, and I decided that my teacher is bad at names. What if you're in a cramped space? Or there's a crowd of human onlookers taking pictures with their phones? Great question, recruit Cody. Why do you remember his name? Don't question the method, heat pad. Now, where was I? Ah, to answer the first question. It reminds me of the time on Griffin Rock when I got stuck behind an ice cream truck. What's going on? The recruits are teaching us today. Tractor. Learn anything good yet? How to make a Cybertronian fall asleep. Anyway, the point is... Ah, oh, we're out of time. I think we can all agree we learned a valuable lesson here today. Teaching's way harder than it looks. At least you did better than Hotshot. Hey! Actually, yeah, that's fair. So who's next, professors? Looks complicated. But 100% safe. Medics here will pretend to be a human driver. He'll drive along the road, following all these freshly painted warning signs. Come to a safe stop, avoiding a collision with Professor Chuck. I've accounted for every kind of road hazard. Hmm. Except one. The weather. This is perfect. Gotta expect the unexpected. Ready, Professor Maddox? Drive! Okay, Maddox, take a hard right at the no entry sign. Which one is the no entry sign? Uh, ah, ah. Huh, looks like today he's good luck, Chuck. This rescue algorithm will get your minds into gear. Uh... You should be able to solve it in 20 minutes. Hmm. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, medics, can you give us a clue? Keep reading. You'll find the answer in the book. Eventually. But, but the answer was right there in the book! Face it, people like reading, just not long, dry, boring manuals. Time to bone up on human first aid. Get it? Hold on, Chuck. I haven't even examined you yet. Let's test your reflexes. Looks like they work. Chuck! Wait! We're really not great at the teacher thing, huh? If I can just time this right! Listen, guys, I really think we should get Heat Wave. No! I, I mean, please, Cody. If the Chief thinks we can't even handle a simple mission like rescuing a balloon from a tree, he'll never let us leave the Academy again. I don't think I want to leave it again. Well, I guess there's no time to find a space bridge or the rescue bots right now. But you're gonna have to tell Heat Wave at some point. 
Good news! I've calculated that the rocket is about to run out of fuel and should plummet to the ground any second. How is that a good thing? We need to land now, someplace where we won't hurt anybody. And where no humans will see us. <sighs> Got it. The boosters are about to run out. Everyone, hold on! Woohoo! You did it, Wedge! Yeah, I wouldn't get too excited. We just wanted to save a balloon up a tree. And now it's a balloon up a tree, up a rocket, up a crane, up a really, really tall building. We should have planned this whole rescue before even starting it. I know, I know. I ran up the tree without thinking about what would happen if humans showed up. But hey, I got the balloon. Huh? Ah! Ah! How did it even get up there? Guys, that thing could fall any second. You gotta find a way to stabilize it. Cody's right, team. We need a plan. And this time, let's think it through. And that's when things began to get easy. Well, less hard, anyway. First, we realized that if Wedge could reach the control cabin and followed my mathematical equations, he could balance the crane and stop it from falling over. At the same time, Hoist moved the rocket until it was safer. Which gave me time to help Whirl cut herself free. Then we worked together to secure the crane to the skyscraper. And once we knew it was safe, we escaped down the back of the building and sped away before anyone saw us.